Hi, this is Yungun. How have you been? It's been a long time. In today's content, I will deal about the four best simulators to learn. Before flying on FPV in Acro, the manual mode, it is crucial to practice first in these simulators. You will need to practice at least 20 to 50 hours and around 100 hours a week to prevent accidents in a real world. Most of people who start FPV, they will ask, which program shall I start to learn FPV? And I want to recommend these four simulators. They will also ask, then where can I download these programs? First, Google Steam at Google. And click the first link in Google. Then you will see this homepage. It looks like this. Install the Steam program on your computer, and yes, your computer should have good performance for 3D games because this platform has many high-quality 3D games, such as uh, PlayStation 4 games. Purchase and download the simulators on your Steam platform. Yes, you should have. Yeah, you should put your credit card on it, and you should purchase it first. Uh, so Steam is kind of a kind of a game platform for the PC. So here in the um, please search uh, liftoff and uh, just type a liftoff. The most famous FPV simulator, and you'll see many, and the price is around like twenty three dollars. The second recommendation is Uncrashed, which is about twelve dollars, and the total will for now is going to be around like thirty five dollars. The next recommendations is DCL, which is about like $30, and TRYP is about like $15. So in the total, it will be about like $80. But I strongly suggest to invest this $80 because one crash can cost more than this $80. So you don't have to buy four all at once, but you can buy it in sequence. First install Liftoff. I want to recommend this program because it has a DJI FPV drone to choose in this program. So this uh, DJI FPV must be very quite similar to the real FPV. So that's why I'm recommending. The second reason um, I'm recommending this program is because the tutorial is really good in this program, as you can see. The second simulator I want to recommend is Uncrashed. It is made by Unreal Engine and the graphic is quite good. And there is car to chase, which makes uh, the simulator more fun. I love the flying cinematic style and Uncrash has these mountains stage, mountain stage to fly over and practice the cinematic styles. But it's quite a little bit boring, but you can see the graphic is quite nice. My third recommendation is DCL. DCL has a good, it has a very good uh, city stage. In uh, 2022, January 1st, I attempted building diving at Yuksam building in Korea, and I practiced diving in lift of first at Bando stage uh, in the construction field like that. But uh, DCL has much better building, uh, the graphics are better and the buildings in the city and it has cars and the streets and it has subway train to chase. There is also many places to fly through at the city and it gives more realistic feeling for practicing. DCL shows quite good guidelines to follow while flying compared to other simula simulators because other simulators does not have good guidelines to follow, which can be quite confusing for the beginners of FPV. Because this liftoff shows only arrows, it's quite hard to understand where and when to twist the FPV to clear the stage. To clear the stage, actually you have to twist 180 degrees and vertically twist 90 degrees more. But in DCL, the guidelines are in the shape of fettuccine, the flat spaghetti, which can show these complex twist informations how to fly. After mastering these three uh, simulators, the last simulator I want to recommend is TRYP. In this simulator, you can chase the bike and the rider, and at the cliff, when he jumps off, and you can take these objects in a nice style which is just like in Mission Impossible 7, recently in the cinemas, you will feel that you are a cameraman to shoot this kind of cool thing. The simulator has many moving ob objects and you can chase and shoot such as wingsuits, paragliders, boogie cars, 
and a bike, and which makes the simulations much more exciting and fun to play and to practice. So it's not boring, it's really cool. And you really feel that like you are now a real expert. And you can really do this、uh, in your real world. And after practicing this, I also succeeded in chasing the skiers and the snowboarders in, a, in wintertime. So it was quite a very helpful、uh, simulator for me.、Mm, but recently, as the other simulators have been updated,、uh, they updated the maps, the stages, so they have added more. Of these similar moving stuffs, moving objects in their programs, also. So in Uncrash, there were only these stages, but uh, th uh, these new stages were newly added. And you can see that this city is really cool, isn't it? There's like, there are these skyscrapers, and now you can practice diving. Remember in my YouTube channel, I've been uploading these、uh, building divings, and this is how I practiced. To prevent accidents in the real world, these practices are very, very essential. And yes, these programs are so realistic to practice with, and it's now quite hard to tell the difference between the real world and the simulated world. Next, what you have to do is the controller settings for each program. This is throttle up. And this is pitch up and down. But sometimes these control settings are inverted throughout the simulators. So you have to adjust the settings for each program, which is quite annoying. And it is not easy to find these settings in the web. So today、uh, I will share these information s and, and this tutorial. And I'm using mode 2. Okay, so let's click the lift off first. There are sometimes controller connections errors, and, and this is what happens to your this is your scenarios. Check, first, check the controller whether it's turned on or turned off. Sometimes it's turned off, that's why it's not connected to your PC. And the second thing is that check the C cable whether it's for the high speed recharging cable. If you use the cheap low speed recharging cable, due to the data limitations, the controllers might not be connected to your PC. In this case, Try to change the C cable to more expensive, the faster cables. Then it's going to be connected. Okay, click Options, Controls. The lift off has very good compatibility with DJI FPV. So if you push up the throttle, it goes up, and when you push down, it goes down. When you pitch up, it leans forward, like this. And then when you pitch down, it's going to lean backwards, like this. So, Yeah, the compatibility is very good with Liftoff and DJI products. But the other programs are a little bit more complex. Let's go for the Uncrashed first, okay? Okay, let's go for the Uncrashed. Press play. In this program, okay, first let's try to click controls. Okay, throttle is axis 3, roll is axis 1, pitch is axis 2. And yaw is pit axis 4. And uncheck all the boxes at the inverted. So no check should be there. And then do it in mode 2. And then it's going to be exactly the same to your、uh, FPV controller, controller like that. And let's quit this program. And let's go for the third program called the DCL. Let's press the play button. Okay. The settings are totally different from Uncrashed. This is why it's so confusing. And these differences make huge confusion when flying among these programs. Go to settings.、Uh, let's go to settings. It's in Korean, but let's go to settings.、Uh, controls. Controller calibration. And number one is roll. Number two is pitch. Number three is throttle. And number four is yaw. And here, just please note that just click the check at the inverted for the number two pitch. So it should be inverted. Then it's going to be,、uh, and then in the flight mode, click acro instead of angle to find manual mode. This is very important. Now let's go to the last program, TRYP. Okay, let's turn on the program. Okay, here, let's go to options, controls. 
and then you will see that the throttle is axis 2, roll is axis 0, yaw is axis 3, pitch is axis 1. And you have to check in front of uh, number 1, throttle, and number 4, pitch. And then the throttle at the middle should be unchecked and it should be in mode 2. Then it's going to be same to your controller. And check always auto run and same as the uh, other program. It should be in acro mode and check always auto arm. Then it's going to be same to your controller. This is it. Very easy, right? I really think that all of you guys should try to experience this FPV. Once you start to fly FPV, your mind will expand it. Your mind will be expanded beyond your imaginations. When others are just overlooking at the observatory, we FPV pilots can actually fly to the places where others can only look from distance. Because you can go there and come back in just a few minutes, this is really mind-blowing and exhilarating skills that you should have. After the Wright brothers, I think this invention is a true innovation that make us fly like an Iron Man in the movie in a very cheap way. I strongly recommend to learn how to fly a PB because I can assure you that this decision will be one of your best decisions you have ever made in your life. Practice these simulators after you work for 3 hours a week and go out to the field and to the sky.